The Explorer 100 Pro is a hidden gem of a light that I think deserves more attention. So in today's video, I wanted to go over some of the features it has and how I personally use it. It's such an excellent light in my opinion that there's actually some other companies out there, some pro companies that decided to make their own version of the 100 Pro. Before I continue, I do want to let you know that this video is sponsored by Adorama. Adorama is an industry leading retailer that has been serving photography, videography, and audio customers for almost 50 years now. Their motto is everyone is a creator and they do their best to unleash that creator within us all by providing us with the tools and expertise necessary to get the job done. I personally shop at Adorama for both the great deals on products I use and recommend, plus the great customer service on those products as well. If you find yourself interested in any products that I talk about in today's video, including the 100 Pro, feel free to check out the links that are going to be in the description area below and be sure to use those links if you decide to order. The biggest reason to get the Explore 100 Pro is because it's so dang tiny. It's literally the size of a can of soda. Quick question, do you say soda or do you say pop? Let me know in the comment section below. Anywho, it's such a tiny portable light that I always have two in my camera bag, especially since it only weighs about a pound, which is very light for all the power that it has. It's so small that some people actually buy a gorilla pod to attach to the 100 Pro so that you can fit into very tight spots like a small branch on a tree or other places that other normal lights couldn't go. Speaking of modifying, the Explore 100 Pro features a few magnets around the flash head that allow use with the AKR1 magnetic accessories that include a barn door, bounce card, diffusion dome, diffusion cap, gel holder, grid, and snoot. But I know you guys are more interested in this modifier right here that I've been using with the 100 Pro in some videos that I've shared online. This softbox honestly deserves its own video. This is the SMDV Flip Beauty 20. It's a 20 inch softbox that's very, very portable. It opens up very quickly and tears down just as quickly. And it has a magnetic attachment right here that allows the 100 Pro to attach to it very, very easily. I'm gonna go ahead and take off the 100 Pro and show you guys how it goes down really, really quickly and also very, very flat, so it's very, very portable. And just to show you guys real quickly again, this is how you set it up. It's so easy to use this softbox. Aside from this 20 inch beauty dish version, there's also a 24 inch beauty dish version and a 20, 24, 28, and 32 inch softbox variation of this modifier. Next up is the modding light feature on the 100 Pro. It isn't the brightest at 1.8 watts and it isn't bicolor, but it is still nice to have in case you ever need a constant light source in a low light scenario like a night photo shoot like I recently used it at Shutterfest. The modding light is actually adjustable in 10 levels as well. For any of you who might have the Flashpoint Zoom Lithium Ion X, also known as the Godox V1, you should know that the Explore 100 Pro is actually backwards compatible, so you can actually use the V1's batteries with this Explore 100 Pro in case you already have a V1, you essentially have a backup battery for the 100 Pro if you decide to buy it. And speaking of the battery, you should know that the battery on the Explore 100 Pro lasts about 360 full powered flashes and also has a recycle time of about one and a half seconds. If you're curious about some of the specs that the Explore 100 Pro has, it's pretty on par with what we've come to expect with the Flashpoint slash Godox lights. And you'll see exactly what I mean with the specs on the screen right now. When the Explore 100 Pro came out, there was actually a green tint issue that you'll be happy to know is already gone, but did get a lot of attention back when it came out and it kind of persuaded people to not get this light. But to be honest with you guys, I never really experienced this green tint issue. It might've been there, but it wasn't visibly visible, you know, to the naked eye, it wasn't visible. So it's not something that I would have considered a, an extreme issue. Speaking of green, the Explore 100 Pro actually comes in a few colors. It comes in black, green, mint green, red, pink, and white. Even though I have used the Explore 100 Pro as a main light for some photo shoots in the past, just to see what it can do and what it can handle, I will have to say that I do think the Explore 100 Pro is a light that is gonna be a dedicated secondary light source like a rim light or a backlight, given how nice and even the spread of light on it is and how you could use those magnetic attachments to connect to the 100 Pro and modify it. However, just like I showed you before with that SMDV softbox, the 100 Pro pairs perfectly with that softbox. So if you find yourself needing 100 watts of power or less, then that combo is gonna be great for you. In my opinion, I would say to use the 100 Pro with that softbox in the early morning, late afternoon, anytime indoors, or at night for some night photo shoots. Last but not least, let's talk about price. At normal price, the Explore 100 Pro is $299 but does go occasionally on sale. And I do tend to share those deals on lighting, including the 100 Pro 
on both my Instagram page at FGH Photo and in my Facebook Lang group. So be sure to follow those two in case you want to be in the know whenever those deals happen. At $299, the Explore 100 Pro is very close in price to the $259 V1 and also the $229 V863. But again, the 100 Pro is much more compact. It's more powerful at 100 watts and it is perfect for that SMDV softbox that I mentioned earlier. Having said that, $299 is also the same price as the original Evolve 200, also known as the Godox AD200, which has double the power. I would have to say to really justify the price of the Explore 100 Pro, you would really have to be dead set on using it as a very portable rim light or backlight or a light that can go into very small spaces or if you really, really want to use it with that SMDV softbox, which again is a very, very portable combo. Unfortunately, the 200 with that SMDV softbox doesn't really go well together because when you use the 200 with that softbox, it's very back heavy. So it kind of falls off the magnetic attachment pretty easily. If it wasn't for that softbox and other softbox like it, then it would be a tougher sell for the 100 Pro. But I honestly do believe it's a great light. I have it inside my camera bag. I have two in my camera bag for good reason. And I do really recommend this light. So if it's something that you find yourself wanting and it's something that you might need in case you need a very portable light, then definitely check out the 100 Pro. I'll have links to it in the description area below. But aside from that, that's pretty much it for this video. I wanna give one last thanks to Adorama for sponsoring this video because it does allow me to make free content for you guys like this video and other videos that I've made. So definitely check them out and be sure to use the links in the description area below, the links to the 100 Pro specifically if you decide to buy it. Aside from that, take care guys and I'll see you guys in the very next video.